Hey everybody, this afternoon we are lucky enough to meet Jeff and Angie and Winston the dog and where do you see this? All kinds of kids. All kinds of kids. When they call you mom and dad, your own children, they're raised knowing that you're their parents. Mm -hmm. When your adopted children start calling you mom and dad, it's because they love you and they've learned to trust you and they've chosen you to be their mom and dad. All right, so you guys went with not one, not two, not three, but you have seven adoptions. We, we have not, we, we've said, okay, we're, we wanna raise these kids, but you know, when we started out, we only ever wanted to. <laughs> yeah, two, maybe we three just wanted kids, to. And... My bio daughter's best friend um, was having some troubles at home and uh, they came over to the house, uh, bawling and crying, uh, she and her younger sister and just kind of opened the door and fell into my arms and and that was, I just opened up my arms and said, okay, you're mine now. They had things that they had to work through and, and still do, but we're mom and dad, we're grandma now. <laughs> um, and, and that's the role. I mean, Jeff walked him down the aisle. That's- That was a good day. Is. If you Those look at our wall, days. we are mom and dad. There's something to be said about having your own children, giving birth and having your own children. Um, your heart's there the moment those children are laid in your arms. There's something to be said about falling in love with the child that you bring into your home. I hear, <clears throat> I've talked to several people about adoption and they're always afraid that, you know, I'm not gonna love, love my adopted kids nearly as much as my, as my own kids. And that's, it's absolutely not true. Differently for sure. You know, it's like a, a tenth of a degree different. But I must have 10 hearts because I love all of my kids with all of my heart. Some of these kids, they're born in a situation where you would almost think is impossible to get out of and they have no hope. They've lost faith. They don't even know what faith is. When they come into your home and you watch them grow and you watch them heal. When Tim first came to us, one of the first stories of, of being a foster dad, he comes up to Angie and says, are we gonna have supper again tonight? That's a, that's a kid that wasn't used to having three squares every day. And that just, that just breaks your heart. So tell me who was adopted together? You no. two. Yes, us three. And you three. Okay. Were you scared, nervous, excited? I'm kind of excited because it was my first time when I came there. Um, there was lots of stuff, like new stuff, like doing sports. Um, football was my favorite so far. Hunter, I'm coming to you now. What, what, uh, what's your favorite part about being adopted, living at this house? Okay, I can read your mind. You're thinking all my brothers and sisters. This is the best ever, right? What was it like for you at the time? Uh, scary, fun. Kind of scary at first, but also kind of exciting because it's like a, a fresh start. Mm -hmm. You're restarting and you get to meet new people, more family. It's, it, is, it is the hardest thing we've ever done. By far the hardest thing we've ever done. And so unbelievably worth it. You want to say anything yet? <laughs> October 18th. That's true. Not the 17th. Okay. <laughs>